Welcome to Excel Magic Trick number 319. Hey, if you want to download this workbook and follow along, click on my YouTube channel, then click on my college website link, and you can download the workbook, Excel Magic Trick 317 to 323. Hey, we got a great video here because VLOOKUP doesn't go in reverse. Let's take a look here. We have some times and grades. And here's how VLOOKUP, uh, here's the, the formula right here. We're just looking up this value in this table right here. We're hoping it'll get uh, the value in this column and then jump over and get the grade and return it back to this cell. Second column means we're returning the thing from this column here. Now here's how VLOOKUP works by default. It takes this 601, and by the way, this is text. These are not numbers. As soon as you type little dashes like that, Excel thinks it's text. Well, that works for VLOOKUP. Um, it just has to be sorted in uh, ascending order, and it goes alphabetically with text. Now, what does it do? For the 601, it goes over here. It bumps into the first biggest value. It jumps back to this row, and it returns the A to the cell. And then for 616, what does it do? By default, this is what VLOOKUP does. It goes racing through the table. It finds the first biggest value and jumps back to the next row and returns the D to the cell. But this person that had this setup didn't want that. They wanted this 616. This was a fast time. So really, they wanted an E in this cell right here. And for this 612, they didn't want it to bump into this 15 and then come back here. So really, the default is hit the bigger value and jump back, right? It, this guy wanted it to hit the smaller value. So this 12 here, it's running down here. It sees that, and then it jumps to this next one here. Well, VLOOKUP will not do that. But the match function has an option um, in its last argument to do exactly what we want here. Now remember, VLOOKUP table has to be sorted in ascending order from the smallest to the biggest. Let's scroll down here. For match, it's exactly opposite. If we want to find, uh, bump into the uh, smallest, the first smallest value and then jump back to the next row, we have to have the table sorted in descending order. So we actually have to do 620, 615, 610. So for those of you that use VLOOKUP a lot, this doesn't seem right at all. But for the match trick, we're going to use index and match. You have to have it sorted like that. Now, how are we going to get those little dashes there? Because match and um, VLOOKUP can look up an approximate value, but they have to be numbers. Remember just a moment up there we had these little dashes. Well, no problem. We'll keep these numbers here and use custom number format. I'm going to highlight this range here, hold Control, highlight this range right here, because these are the values we got to assign grades, and this is the grade table. And I need the same custom number format on both. Control-1 for format cells. Go to Number, go to Custom. And up here, highlight it under type and type 0, single apostrophe, 0, 0, single apostrophe, single apostrophe. You can already see right here that the uh, correct format is um, starting to emerge. And the beauty of this is it will keep them numbers, 620, 615, so that uh, index and match can do their thing. I'm going to click right here, equals index. And the array, this is the uh, um, array we want to return a value from. So it's these grades. And I'm going to hit F4 to lock it going down across the rows. And we need a comma. And all we need is our row number. So we're going to use match. Remember, this odd situation arose because 16, if we're searching through uh, 16, it needs to go down here, bump into the first smallest value, and then return back to the next row and take that E. Really, it's the opposite of what VLOOKUP does or the uh, reverse of what VLOOKUP does. Match. And let's see if I can scroll over here just a little bit. Match, and the lookup value is going to be this. So that's the lookup value comma. And now our lookup array, that's going to be this right here, sorted in descending order. And you have to lock it, F4, F4 going down, comma, and no way. This is that third argument. Exact matches for 0. Uh, a 1 would make it just like VLOOKUP, but we want this one, minus 1. 
Now, if you read the help on this, it describes it slightly different, and I have this over here. A match finds the smallest value that is greater than or equal to the lookup value. So let's remind ourselves how this is different than VLOOKUP. VLOOKUP would have the table sorted in ascending order, and VLOOKUP would race down, find the first biggest value, and return to the next row. This match part here, because we have that negative 1, it's racing down the table. It's finding the first smaller value and then bumping back to the next row. Now, technically, in help, what it's doing is it's looking through this to find the smallest value that is equal to or greater than. That's why this 616, the smallest value that is greater than, would have to be this one. So it could be greater than or equal to. So if it's exactly 620, it would return an E. All right, uh, that a match with a negative 1 to do a reverse or opposite V lookup. We'll see you next trick.